Alright, I'm a bit of a visual novel fan. I'm not going to reveal my power level and what degeneracy I've read, but I dapple with visual novels. Ones with gameplay, multiple routes, and ones without. Kinetic visual novels are actually my favorite kind of visual novel. And while Autry technically isn't one, it has one choice for a bad ending, otherwise it's linear, its adaptation is creeping up on us. And I'm really interested to see how the team will tackle this story. VN adaptations might instill fear, but this is a linear and short novel. I have moderate faith. So today, in preparation, I wanted to ruminate about Autry, the parts I liked, that I think would be interesting to see how they will tackle, and skirting around my hopes. I'm actually not the target audience for the kind of story that Autry ultimately is. Autry, at the end of the day, is an android romance. I'm not a fan of these kinds of stories, and the visual novel from its conception had always been about that, with the producer stating his initial proposal was to make a story about androids. And of course, they were quite aware of what kind of game they were making, emphasizing the romance and even changing certain characters to be girls because it better fit the genre. But during production, it became a bit more than that. There was a secondary focus on the sci-fi setting. And this is how I came out quite positive on Atri. Kono Asta, the writer, wanted it to be more than just an android story, and came up with the setting, this dystopia imparted by the Anthropocene as the world is slowly submerged into the ocean. Atri, by its conception, isn't just a romance, and I hope the adaptation takes that into account. There's only one route to adapt, so it will inevitably land on its romantic elements, but it's an anime where the visual language can add subtext and really push the themes in a way beyond the script. The game itself does have very gorgeous backgrounds that help depict the crumbling world around them, but it's also limited as we see the same locations in a fixed way. An adaptation can do whatever it wants with the storyboarding, showing not only the characters, but also, vitally, the setting in diverse and unique ways. The story from the onset might seem to just be about this romance, but from its creators, from how the story progresses and how the events are so tied to the world around them, I hope that the team can tap into that. The setting is such an integral part of Autry to me, and with it comes other aspects, like the side characters. As supporting characters, we see them grow and develop really well in the source, and they served not only as a nice contrast, but also as another avenue for us to really see the development and impact that the characters have on this world. And as the side characters grow and garner hope amidst their dying world, we see how that is reflected in the town through things like improved technology, and so I hope that the feeling of this community growing together isn't lost. I'm not expecting a new side arc where they build more dings, but it was really great seeing the small victories and the ways that the characters slowly gain more trust with each other, and in the idea of having a future. I hope that the show doesn't try to be faster than it needs to be for these moments, and takes its time with the tenderness of this community and the people within it. An adaptation can give excuses to have the side characters be more present, and in some cases even give faces to them. Only a select few of the townspeople have faces, so it would also be great to just have the town feel more alive in that way. This is a town shrouded with despair that is slowly being uplifted and slowly learning how to have hope, but it's not like this is a ghost town, so it would be cool to see new faces. As a final note, and this is a hope appealing to my biases, while the core of the story is a mixture of romance and sci-fi, there's also one more element. Autry is driven by an overarching story, and it might not be episodic, but it does have its roots in the slice of life. Despite the deteriorating world, and in spite of the plot devices it deploys to remind us of the end, I couldn't help but be enthralled by the daily life, because for the most part, the story is laid back. And the writer actually talks about this, saying how they've always liked slice of life stories, but was worried about it working in this format. And so when writing, they tried to make a tearjerker, but midway through changed direction to make it work more their style. In that same interview, they mentioned influences like Anne of Green Gables, which as a Canadian is practically our slice of life anthem, and mentions how it taught them that interesting stories can be created without people dying. In conjunction with this, they also talk about how they like games that make you cry without trying to. And so they are conscious of not making people cry, not making people die, and not making things more flashy than necessary. 
In other words, they wanted Autry to feel natural, to feel light, and have that be the crux of its emotionality. One could argue whether this is successful or not in the game, and to reserve going into review territory, I just hope that the show is careful about the scripting. There are parts that can feel bombastic, at times I would say flashy, there are moments that can really make things exaggerated, especially in the last quarter, but the atmosphere throughout is quite consistent. Within the scope of the script and directing, certain moments can be truncated and made less intense. And I think it would be interesting to see a version that dials down certain moments to heighten the atmospheric slice of life that the story can have. I mean sure, I'm completely slice of life brained so this is my number one hope, but it would also be interesting to see how they would interpret or handle the material in that way. Regardless of being a source reader, I'm down for whatever the team comes up with for this adaptation. This is a linear visual novel, the set route is already laid out, but they are also under a time limit, and so things may be cut, rearranged, or added to tie into certain themes. Regardless of my hopes, this new version of the work is just a version, and I can't really fault it for what it will do. If I wanted the version of the story that closely aligns with my experience, well it already exists, it's the visual novel. So has this adaptation announcement just been an easy excuse for me to talk about a visual novel for a bit? Yeah. And that was the end of the video. Hopefully this uh, visual style for the video was interesting at the very least, because I did think it would be fun to have a basically visual novel aesthetic having a sprite. I know this video was very short in comparison, like really short. I cut out a lot of stuff from the original script that I thought was maybe going over the same points a little bit. If you'd like to see the original script, I do always post them in my Patreon. And speaking of, if you want to support me in those kinds of ways, I do have a Patreon. I also have a Twitter if you'd like to follow me for my other random dots that I don't get to over here. And of course, just watching and liking or subscribing or leaving a comment always helps. Thank you again for watching. Maybe in the future, if I feel like talking about visual novels, I might come back to this kind of style. It was really fun, and uh, maybe, maybe I'll get to talk about video games a little bit more in the future. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.